Welcome back. In case you're just joining us, this is Sports Tonight on your award-winning channels television. Well, let's um, come home now and talk about domestic football, football on the local scene. Let's go about Nigeria Professional Football League. Matches played. Well, there was a match played today, but let's look at all the results um, from this week. And, um, of course, Toby will want to t tell us about what happened uh, Shooting stars and pillars, but that's it uh, on your screen. Uh, a lot of uh, interesting results. Nigeria Tornadoes uh, defeated Lobby Stars 2-0. Uh, the game played today. Um, MFM and Abia Warriors. Both teams needed to win, but uh, they conspired to end that game uh, in um, a draw. Uh, Ifan Yuba uh, defeating Wiki Torres. Uh, you also have Nasara United um, were victorious uh, in their game. We're also going to be talking about um, Aqua United, uh, not for reasons that we would love uh, to talk about them. They had a road miss up. We'll be talking about them on the show. Uh, on the top corner right there, you have shooting stars. Uh, I'm very sure. Um, uh, and Toby wants to talk about that. So those are the results um, as you have them. Uh, but let me quickly come to Oyin with you, I know Toby who wants to talk about shit. But which game, um, which outcome of those matches really surprised you? Or everything went according to the book? No team really um, did something that you didn't expect? Yeah, we expected shooting stars to win because um, they needed that the three points to, you know, in their, in their struggle against the relegation. But I, I was also intrigued by, you know, Heartland. They went to Akure, they scored the first goal, and um, Sunshine had to equalize. You know, when you look at Heartland team, they've not been too good, you know, of recent. And it was it was a surprise, you know, result for me. And what happened there, very appalling. Uh, fans of, um, um, you know, purported fans of Sunshine, we can call them Akure Again. fans, you know, stopped the game after um, Heartland, you know, went ahead. And I, I think it's not good. It's not even good for Sunshine because they have done so well this season. I think their fans may ruin their chances in recent of, times, you know, playing continental football. In recent times, um, that's a tough time. Yeah. In, in the last the, one it was year. almost the same period last season, Toby. Yeah. They were banished to Teslim Balogo Stadium. Yeah. And they did well. I remember the hammered Rangers. Rangers, yeah. You know, at the Teslim Balogo Stadium. So it shows that um, these fans should help the team. And not, not cause trouble. Yeah, but not destroy the team. If the away team scored, there is also the tendency that the team, the Sunshine, could have scored. And, and it was obvious. Yes. It was obvious. And yeah. it happened. And it happened. It so why, than, why, than, why than would you second. cause um, problems for your team? You know, so I think they, they still need to work on their fans. Okay. So that this is a good team. We have seen them play good football. Even in the absence of Okiki, who left, yep. you know, midway. That, that they, 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 they've been scoring goals, goals and they've been playing good football. Okay. So I, I think the fans should, um, you know, they should cancel the fans. Uh, Those are the two results that I feel were yeah. quite, you know, surprising. Th there's no doubt Sunshine uh, is a very good side. Okay, let's, um, with the match that was played today, let, let's look at um, the table. Let's have a look at the table uh, and see what it looks like at the top and um, what it looks like. Um, Toby, that's it on your screen. Um, Wiki Tories, um, Rivers United, Ifan Yuba and Rangers are uh, in the top four. And of course, if you go down, you have... Um, Abia Warriors, MFM. Okay, let's start from MFM, Warrior Wolves, um, Ikorodu United, uh, and of course, um, the team that everybody um, agrees that is already re relegated, that is Giwa um, FC. So, uh, th that's how it is. A any surprises? Let's quickly uh, talk about this. Wiki Tories, uh, Rivers United, FC Ufan Yuba, and Rangers. <coughs> Yeah, um, I think the most surprising thing is you see Rangers drop out from the top three. Uh, I mean, uh, this is uh, this will happen. I think um, for a couple of weeks, they're very very consistent, you know, okay. on the log. But I mean, not not really good for them to see Rangers, you know, drop from the but um, from the top three. I mean, for Wiki Tories, the goal advantage is really really counting on for them. Rivers United knew that they need to get maximum three points this weekend to equal point against Wiki because if Wiki doesn't get you know result. In, in a way, and it happened. And for, for, for Wiki, looking very good for them. Plus 20 goal difference is very, very, very huge, and it's a big advantage for them going forward into the into the contest. But surprising thing for me, FC Fine, but they've picked up from the second stanza. I mean, it will it will, it will surely pay for you, you know, when when when, when you do good business in in in, your, in in the transfer window, and this is really paying off for, for FC Fine. Okay. during the missing transfer window, they brought in Gata, Jimo Wasil, couple of great players, Ezenwa, Super Eagles goalkeeper, into the squad to to make 
mix up with what they had before and it's really really paying off for them i mean you know third on the lock looking very very interesting All right. i mean I, I did looking looking good they're really challenging and okay. i mean it's it, it, it's always going to be a long battle a long contest among these four teams. this one um i, I was released um reading some comments attributed to the uh coach uh, paul Igbogo, saying that aimba is still still uh, in the race. They're, they're not far away. They're in sixth position. But can, can Ayimba topple all these teams and go all the way? Um, looking at uh, the remaining matches, do they have the squad to do it? Do they have the man with the tactics to get them those results? They can. I mean, you know, when, when you look at the table, they have 48 points. So what it means is that um, 48 points, five points between them and leaders, Wiki Torres, and they have, you know, outstanding games, about three. So <laughs> when you look at it, though, uh, a game you, in you hand not, is not, nothing yeah, until you win. You have not played the game, but they have the mathematical chance if they, you know, pick some points to contest, you know, among the top three. You know, that is more feasible if they can pick the, the, their points. But you, you, when, you, when you look at them retrospectively, um, they, they've not been consistent. Uh, yes, they got the victory against Aqua United in Port Harcourt last Saturday, 2-1. Um, sometimes... They can, they can shock you. Yeah. Um, they, 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 they can drop points even at home. So, but if they rise up to the occasion, they have the depth, they have the quality, you know, to also compete among the best, even among the first um, three on the log. Uh, let, let's um, the bottom four. Yep. Um, at this stage, you don't want your team uh, to be there. And everybody has been talking about MFM, a, a team that started by saying, look, we are not Leicester City. Uh, a lot of people started comparing <laughs> to Leicester City. Now, um, all that is left is to fight against relegation. I mean, uh, it is very, very brutal uh, for, for MFM, the players, the management and the fans. Just like you mentioned earlier, at, at, I could recall at week, at week nine, I mean, pardon, at week six mm -hmm. in MFM, we're top of the log. I mean, from week one uh, to, to around week 12, they were among the top four. I mean, they won, they, they won, they won a first game away from home in Lafia. But, you know, it just started, you know, um, started getting into this poor form lately in the first time that everyone thought they could pick up. And, I mean, they have an advantage um, to, to really recruit and you know, sort some problem they had, you know, in the squad during the mid transfer. I think that has been a major problem because, I mean, they've been one of the team that created chances too much this but converting it has been very very poor for them and look at our position right now some team on the okay. lock really really poor for them i mean they are deeply in the relegation fight right now they've dropped about uh they've dropped about 14 points impossible 18 in a couple of games not really good for them i mean this morning also they had a chance to pick back small three point and they fought out everything okay Play the goal going against abia was not 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 really good for mfa but i mean they, they, they just have to believe in themselves that but i mean it. i mean it is very difficult for them because if you look to get out if, of this yeah, if you look at their last six games they had four away games and two home games that means the two home games will not be enough for them they need to pick point on the road and you look at the team they will visit rangers ahimba FC Mumbai will come. I mean, it's, it's going to be difficult, difficult for them. I mean, it is a very tough start. And then, if MFS survive this, I mean, it's really evident to build on into the new season. Uh, Oye Ujima, do, do, do you um, find it hard to uh, to see where he was and where they are <laughs> in that position? No, no, no. Not not surprising. You know, if you have followed <laughs> the travails of the team, you know, there have been accusations and counter accusations yeah. of how, you know, funds were mismanaged meant for the team, you know, we are spent. You know, we don't have a confirmation yet, yes, but when you owe players five months salaries, mm. these are, you know, these are professionals for goodness sake. They have, you know, people who depend on them. Um, they, they, they have responsibilities, they have children, they have wives. And if you are owed five months salaries, you don't expect the best from these players. It was even a, it was even a big miracle that they came to Lagos and, uh, and pick defeated. Uh, I mean, they pick a point yep. against. Uh, they almost got the point. Uh, yeah, yep. almost got the point at, 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 at against them. So the, the, these players should be spared. They, they should give them their money if they really, if they are serious about escaping relegation. You have to motivate these players. If you don't, then uh, you don't have. Uh, you can't blame the players. But is it possible? Can they do it? Well, they, they, they can. They, I think the onus is on the the people who, run it, who are running the club to motivate these players. If 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 it's, if it's true that they got you know X Y Z amount of money and they've not been able to you know get it across to the players, they, they should do that immediately because okay. you you have to be motivated to fight this battle. If you are not motivated, you, you cannot fight this battle. All right. If you, if, if you drop points at home, then that the center should hold themselves responsible. Okay. Um. This is the part where Toby has been waiting for, and we are here now. Uh, so let, let's go straight into it. Uh, let's talk about shooting. You were there. Yep. You, you saw the match. Yep. Um, um, I mean, there's really nothing to say. The, the, the scoreline 
was very very good yeah very good. Uh, uh, uh shooting out of the woods now yep I mean, not not really. Uh, the, I mean, they, they still need to fight on. They, they still need to win some great games. Don't forget, Rangers will visit them in the battle. Wiki will visit them in the battle. I mean, they got a lot of beast care when they knew that next three home games will be against Pillars, Wiki, and Rangers. So uh, they, they they understood that they need to get the job done. I mean, yesterday was an amazing day for them. I tweeted something that if shooting star could play like this almost every match. They, they shouldn't be where they are now. They, they, will, they will win the league undefeated. They, they took the game by storm, dominated possession, at last, uh, you know, at split pillars and they were better in, in the whole position. I mean, they scored the opening in the opening, in the opening nine minutes. I don't think they scored a brace in the second half. And Gianni also on the scorer sheet. I mean, it, it was a very good weekend for them. I mean, they, they just need to build on this. They just need to believe. But also, I mean, Finance is very key for shooting stars. I mean, this is one of it has been one of the biggest challenges this season. And I think the sponsor of, of this club, which is the state government, should look into this. You know, the players are really complaining a lot. If these players will get motivated, if they can get what they really work for, I think you know these players will, will, will give more. According to my sources, I mean, the players got some entitlement before this game, and the performance really motivated. Was, I mean, the performance was top notch. Was, was an excellent performance from the players. I mean, they gave everything yesterday. They, they, they showed they, they, they've got this quality and they have this class okay. you know, to dominate. On the, on, on the MPFA continent. Uh, on you, let me allow you to have your say on, on this matter. Um, well, we're not God. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. But the way things look right now, have they not enough to stay afloat? Shooting stars. Talking about shooting yeah, stars. Yeah, they still need to pick some points. But it's good that they are winning. You know, when you beat Pillars, funny, it gives a lot of confidence. You know, going into you know big games like that of Rangers and Wiki Torres. If you are beating a big team like Pillars, then the players would have you know the right frame of mind, the the, the right confidence against uh, Rangers and Wiki. So for me, uh, I think they're on the right path. They okay. just need to sustain. Um, if what to be said that they give them some kind of motivation is true, then um, I think the, the management is doing the right thing. Okay. If you are fighting relegation, you must not you know take anything for granted. The players very very important. You have to motivate them. You have to give them what is due to them so that um, they will deliver. Because if you don't give them, then you cannot uh, hold them accountable you know, for anything that happens. Okay. All right. Um, let's talk about this one. Uh, not, not palatable, uh, especially if you love Nigerian football. And um, when I see fans traveling, I, I praise them. Uh, you know, they, they face a lot of hardships. A, a lot of the odds are stacked um, against them. Um, this weekend was a story about Aqua United. The, the fans uh, had a road mishap, and the team still went on to play. Um, but well, the story uh, is that the governor, uh, Imala Udom uh, of Aqua Ibon, says these guys will receive, the guys involved in the accident will receive the best medical attention, and of course, that their bills um, will be taken care of. And I think this is good. It's heartwarming. Nobody prays. For things like this to happen but when it does you know we should always come to the aid of football loving fans who um, are in this situation not because of any thing that they have done but just something out of the blue yeah these are uh, <coughs> excuse me fans following their passion and uh, regrettably one fan died, died yeah. in the in the road mishap you know they're going to support their team from uyo to portacot and um, you know the, the the kind of roads we have in this country, not um, you, you know really really good to drive on. But these fans traverse the length and breadth of this country to support their team. So uh, I, I want to thank the governor for you know coming Step to the aid, you know, so, so that uh, these fans these fans will get uh, appropriate medical attention. But also to the fans, I, I, I think this thing is becoming a recurring decimal. Um, I, I think the clubs should also look at how they drive these buses okay you know you, you must have to be very careful yes the roads are not you know much also, also but also you careful. must also take your destiny into your hands okay and uh, you know drive safely all right uh, this is hoping that um um all, all the guys involved will recover quickly and of course be back um doing what they love doing best supporting their team let's go on a quick break when we return we'll be talking about the super egos we'll be looking at the afcon qualifiers join us again